Cat Williams. So did he go okay. too far with what he was saying, with what he did? Uh, I, I'm under the, the impression that I think a lot of it, first of all, he's a good storyteller. There was some truth to some of it, but some of it was made up, which is why it got the views that it did. I, I think he may have gone a little bit too far, man. What do you think? Uh, absolutely. I think the only part far is it, well, I guess not the only part, but he sprinkled in truth mm. with fiction too often. And it was for self-gain. Everybody was hung up on the facts that he told, but they were just g completely glazing over the fact he was lying on a lot of it. And a lot of it was for self-gain. A lot of it was just flat-out hating, flat-out jealousy. If he could be worth $400 million like Kevin Hart, he would be. That's all I'd say. No, well, you're right about that. That's the first thing is that you know about money and people that have money. They, they never talk about how much money they have. And when he came out, well, you know, they, they don't believe my net worth. I had that on me. I'm like, hold on a second, man. People aren't talking about right. having all this money. People that have money don't have to say anything. They just have it. It just is what it is. They're not out there bragging about how much money they have. That's the first thing I knew. It was like, this dude is full of shit. Okay, now I like Cat Williams. Right. I think he's hilarious. I think he's absolutely hilarious. But you notice the people that he didn't go after. It was, and me and you have talked about it. It was all the people that are better comedians than he is. He didn't say anything about them. Yeah. Wait, com I got a comment from Buddy on here. Comedians have been hating for years. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole difference in the hating and trying to be funnier in a friendly competition. That's like, you know, battle rappers and everything like that. When you start lying on somebody, start lying on their money or start, you know, talking about the opportunity they took, you know, that's where I went a little too far. You know, you're, you're, you're playing this high, you know, high road that I would never have taken this role and set people back. But you said about five or six black people's career back. And then what about the 15 year old you're fighting on the playground? Stop telling me you're, you know, that you're, yes. you're taking the high road, Michelle yeah. Obama. Exactly. I mean, and that's the, the, the problem that I got with a lot of that is just the hypocrisy of it all. And, and, and don't tell me that you don't want to be where Kevin Hart is. Stop lying and saying that they had to do all these things or, or what he said about ludicrous. And I'm like, oh my God. And then it, it's just, to me, it's just stupidity. It's just stupidity. And, and it can be his truth. If that's what he wants to believe and that's what makes him get through life better is by coming right. out and saying all this stuff, then okay, that's fine. But w when you're going around, and again, he didn't care about anybody's career that he hurt. It was only that he thought that somebody else may have done somebody wrong in his eyes, even though he didn't necessarily know the truth. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm... <sighs> But anyway, let's go. Davy Gill says, nah, Cat was spitting spit fat. Nah, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. I, I think that, I mean, some of it was, was true. You can't deny that some of it was true because some of it was. But some of it was made up, and we know it was made up. We know it was made up. But again, Cat's a good storyteller. And, and if he did not attack any comedian that people perceive to be better than him. Like, I don't think Kevin Hart is funnier than him. I think Kevin Hart is a better movie star. And the roles that he plays in movies, Cat Williams could never do that. Or like Cat Williams saying that the first five years, all the movies that Kevin Hart was in, they were on his desk first. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. No, they weren't. He can't play and pull off those type of roles. Is that what we're trying to believe here? Come on. Stop that. Stop that. And again, I 1,000% believe that Cat Williams is a better comedian. I, I mean, just a stand-up comedian. Kevin Hart's okay. He's an actor. He's a, a much better actor. And when people write his jokes for a movie, he's better at doing that. Cat Williams can't pull that off. He just can't. It just is facts. It is what it is. It is what it is. So that's partly the the going too far as far as what I believe with Cat Williams and what's going on. So, mm, mm, mm. You know what, Yuva? Yuva's going to catch these hands. You know no, what I'm not. saying? No, or, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, yeah, no, he's he not. Keep going, Yuva. Don't stop. Do not stop. Don't even slow down in the chat, brother. 
Don't even slow down. Just let him rate him 60, have it. 60 per day. I see it. Burner phone. I don't know who Ryan Elledge is, but he's on me. And Ryan Elledge is a great phone. man. Ryan Elledge is a man's man. He knows. He gets it. He gets it. Okay. He gets it. Okay. Um. So anyway, we were just basically talking about Cat Williams. I, I finished it. I cleaned it up for you. Uh, as always. I appreciate it. You know, that's what I do. That's I mean, I do. It, essentially, if he'd have taken down anybody who wasn't black, hadn't taken the high road about the wearing a dress thing, I'd have been behind him. But he went too far. I hope you cleaned it up for me. Yeah, it, that, that's what I basically said. And I, I went par with the lion. He didn't attack anybody that was a better comedian. He lied about right. saying that Kevin Hart, all the, the first five year of Kevin Hart's movies were on his desk first. Absolutely right. not. That, that, that didn't right. happen. So it right. kind of is what it is at this point, man. It is what it is. Let's move on. Yeah. 